More than 15,000 people have signed Jen Branji's petition calling on the government to place a moratorium on all water bottling consents until underground aquifers are protected or there is a price put on water. Branji and her fellow protester Liana Kelly do not believe New Zealand water should be given away for private profit. They also describe newly announced government water standards as ridiculous. They've matched up to um, European standards and, and it's all very well for people who have cities of millions and millions of people to have a much higher, higher E. coli count in their water but we are little New Zealand and we need to treasure the water that we've got. Um, allowing higher E. coli counts uh, just sends our rivers to death really. When the South Today spoke Hello. with the Otago Regional Council last week it claimed higher figures for water quality standards than the rest of the country with most issues isolated to the summer months. However, Branchy does not accept dirty rivers are a natural byproduct of the summer months and blames dairying for the increase in E. coli. I've just come through Lake Waihola and taken a photograph of it and it absolutely breaks. It has a stench coming out of that water. Um, there's also a lot of uh, mining sediment runoff that's allowed to go into tributaries in Otago. Um, there's more continued irrigation is happening. So, you know, ju just to round off and say that, um, that they're making improvements is just not good enough. The, the standards aren't high enough and when the water temperature rises, it should, there should be no um, blooms. Environment Minister Nick Smith says the idea bottled water is at the core of New Zealand's water issues is as sensible as saying traffic problems can be fixed by banning bikes. He told the South today, beer and soft drink plants use more water than bottled water companies calling protesters hypocritical for criticising water quality standards set in 2003 by Labour and Greens. Smith says the current government has introduced a $2 billion plan to improve water quality and is publishing comprehensive maps of New Zealand waterways for the first time. Roselle Labone, The South Today.